Hey, Miss It's Tony Craft here. This is my daughter, Scout, and she is going to uh, get her hair dyed today. So we've done this before a bunch of times. Um, she was probably like two and a half when she started to ask uh, for purple hair. I don't know what gave her that idea because I did not have colored hair at that point, um, but she always loved colorful hair. So um, at some point I said, it's, you gotta stay out of my way. At some point, I said, you know, if she asks three times or whatever, that sure, I'll, I'll go for it. So that's what happened. She kept asking for it, so we did it. Um, she had purple and pink hair for a long time. And so what, what is it that you want to do today? I want to dye my hair. Purple on the, on the sides at the end. And I want pink in the middle on the sides. And I want golden in the middle. So I think what she's describing is sort of an ombre. So I've never done um, any ombre before, but I'm not scared of that and we're gonna give it a shot. And basically we have some color uh, that we've used in the past. We have a light pink, um, a dark purple, and then sort of a fuchsia. So I think I'm just gonna kind of slowly mix them in um, to get different shades of color. So are you ready to get started? Okay, so the steps we're gonna take is we're gonna um, cover her up and cover up our area. We're going to start with our lightest color and mix it uh, and, and basically apply it to the top parts, top layers of her hair. Uh, and then I'm gonna slowly add in the darker colors as we go down. And then basically we just let it sit for 45 minutes and rinse it out. And these kind of semi-permanent dyes are fairly safe. Um, they, they're, they're not like when you bleach your hair or use a box dye, it's not, it's not harsh like that. Um, they're basically just pigmented uh, conditioners, honestly. So we've never had a problem with them. I've never had any sort of rash issues or anything on, on myself or on her um, or on anyone that I've ever done it for. So I think we should be Okay, and there's no smell to it. They usually smell like raspberry or something. It just smells like candy. Um, so anyways, let's get started. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use a little bit of petroleum jelly, you know, Vaseline um, on her hairline and ears and that sort of thing so that it doesn't dye. This kind of temporary, um, really brightly colored dye dyes your skin uh, pretty fiercely and pretty quickly. So it's best if you use some of this to uh, protect hair lines. All right, now that we've got that protected, we're gonna start with our lightest color, which is this pink. It's Beyond the Zone Pro Formula Party Time Pink. This is just a plastic mixing bowl that we got from Sally's Beauty Supply. Um, I have an array of different hair um, applicators, also from Sally's. And right now, that's all we need. So go ahead and sit back for me. Get comfy, you're gonna be here for a while. And basically, you just start painting it on. And you don't wanna um, touch the scalp, but you wanna get as close to it as you can without touching it, basically. Since we're doing sort of an ombre effect, I don't want to go too far with this pink because we're going to switch up colors here in a minute. But I do want to make sure that what is pink is saturated. Oh, I didn't even put my gloves on. Step one, put your handy gloves on. I like the pink. Can I hold the pink one? No. I need them for next time. Oh.
Now this one's called uh, Midnight Ruby, and it's by Splat. On darker hair, I think it's more red, but on blonde hair, it comes out pretty fuchsia. And I love the Splat brand. Um, I think it's great that you can buy it at CBOs. Let's move on to the purple. Mix it in a little bit with the red first. <gasps> uh, I if I had a handcuff, I'd be doing this easier. This is the darkest. This is the darkest color we have, and this is Manic Panic Purple Haze. Oh, she's <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you startled me. I bet I startled you. Do you have a <laughs> I have a cheap shower cap here that I'm gonna put on her so we don't have to worry about her getting anything anywhere. Okay, so now we just have to wait for 45 minutes and then we're gonna rinse it out and then we'll bring her out and dry it and show how it looks, all right? So we'll see you in 45 minutes. All right, so she is rinsed out. We shampooed and conditioned it and it looks like this. It's still wet, but we're gonna dry it and uh, looks pretty good so far. This is the loud part. So the day toning class is over. Now my hair is curly because my mom called it, and I washed my hair and I have pink. Yeah, so we've got uh, pink on top, a really nice bubblegum pink in the front, with uh, sort of a dark lavender underneath and peeking out on the bottom there. So it looks, I think it looks really good. Her hair is definitely not damaged after doing it. If anything, it feels better than it did before. dye a kid's hair. Hopefully I gave you the information that you need uh, to do it and good luck. Uh, so, class, bye bye. <laughs> so please hit the subscribe button if you want to see more stuff like this. Um, hit the like button if you like this particular video and feel free to leave a comment. And, st <laughs> and uh, <laughs> this is Tony Craft and Scout, the five-year-old with the crazy hair. And we will see you soon. Thanks for watching.